Well, hey there, and welcome to today's video presentation. I am Arthur Morris. I've been making great bird pictures for 38 years and teaching others to do the same thing. If you like what you see here today, be sure to visit and subscribe to my blog. There's a link below. And when you get some new gear, check out Bedford's. Get 3% back on your credit card and free second day air shipping by using the Birds' as Art code. Now, I've had a blessed life. I'm not done yet. And I've visited some great places, the Southern Ocean, seven or eight times. I've been blessed by having many images honored in prestigious international competitions. I love photographing in Florida. The sandhill cranes in the marshes near my home are starting to do some courtship, and they'll have chicks, usually around March. As much as I love home, I love traveling to San Diego. I've been going there, God, since 1970, long before I even picked up a camera. The brown pelicans, the Pacific race brown pelicans are absolutely gorgeous. I run an IPT there almost every year for like 20 years. I have one this year coming up and we have room for you. So if you like these pelican pictures, come on down on a drizzly afternoon. And lots of opportunities to do creative stuff in San Diego. So we're going to head over to Photo Mechanic and learn about creating some sunball flight shots. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. So here we are in Photo Mechanic. Spacebar starts the slide program. You know I'm going for sunball shots because of the exposure compensation of minus 0.7. If I were photographing the birds in silhouette against the sky, I'd be like plus 2 or plus 2.3 or even plus 2.7. So I'm at 1200 millimeters with the Sony A1, the 2X teleconverter, and the 600 F4 GM. I'm on a tall, tall tripod and a stepladder to get over the reeds. So this image just doesn't do it for me. The bird's too little in the frame and not a very good wing position. So I'm praying for a big bird to come by and alas, here comes a great egret. Not thrilled about this little stuff behind the sun but love the look of the stuff on the feet, challenging image, and then two more frames of the same bird that I kept. Let's see, two, yeah, three more. And you're gonna see, when we look at this in raw digger, here's the sunball shot. It's showing the sun as grossly overexposed in two channels, which theoretically means you're not gonna be able to recover detail there. To prove the point, what I talked about being minus 0.7 to try to keep the sun under control somewhat. If we go command right arrow in raw digger, we get to the next one. Now the exposure still doesn't look too bad, only because we have this little bit of the sun still in the frame. But notice what happens when the bird is against the clear sky. Wow, it's at the 2000 line. If we come back, we see we're aiming for the 16,000 line. So Lord, 2000 is gonna be one, two, three. We come to this one, three full stops underexposed, and the next one will be the same. So we're gonna head over to Photoshop. And here we are in the Adobe Camera Raw, Raw conversion screen and you can go before and after by clicking here so here's the original frame and here's the one with my settings so if we take a peek we see the eye shot color temperature was 6350 and when I worked on the file I raised that to 7400 to make the sky more red and more orange and strangely since raw digger showed this was originally overexposed on the sun ball in Photoshop it was not so I actually increased the exposure to bring up detail here then I pulled the highlight slider down to minus 79, opened up the shadows to 100 to get this with some detail to 100. And I left the whites where they were because if you look up here at the RGB numbers, nothing showing as technically overexposed. 254 for the red channel and then the others well below the 255 threshold. I did pull the blacks down to minus 92 to heighten the silhouette effect, but I'm still not thrilled with this This here, this reddish stuff from the, the bleed over from the sun. Vibrance to plus 29 to juice up the color a bit, and clarity and dehaze are as usual. So that is the Photoshop end of things. Yeah, I thought I had the optimized image here, but you'll need to go to the blog post. There's a link below to see the optimized image 
And this image required lots of tender loving care. First in Topaz Denoise AI, I had to level it a little bit. I had to deal with this ibis in the corner and I eliminated this little orange part refraction on the sun. So all in all, I was thrilled with the image, especially the feet. I hope you can get out and make some great pictures and even more, I hope you can make it to San Diego. Love you, Artie.